What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today I'll be unboxing yet another vacuum cleaner. So, without further ado, we're just going to get straight into the unboxing. I meant to unbox this on Monday, but I couldn't because, well, had some uh, issues. Mainly, I had a really bad headache, tried to take some medicine to remedy it, and that medicine ended up sending me into a really bad seizure for some reason. So, that's why I wasn't able to get a video out the next couple days. Oh wow, this comes with a hose extension. I didn't really pay attention to what this comes with. I have like five of these. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt to have too many. Nothing, nothing stopping you from daisy chaining them together. So, so I bought this from my good friend Nathan, the same person who sold me the Phantom Lightning just a few short weeks ago. So yeah, as you can see, I have a bit of a problem. I initially planned on buying this instead of the Lightning, but he was a bit hesitant to sell it, but I did tell him, I was like, if you ever do sell this, let me know because I will buy it, since I am more of a fan of uprights than canisters. And of course, he decided to sell this after selling the Lightning, so I went ahead and got both. Got a crevice tool. So we've got a hose extension, crevice tool, a wand, and there's bubble wrap over the main assembly, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to get this out because I can't exactly access the carry handle. So I'm going to have to find some way to get this. Oh, it comes with a manual. Nice. I didn't, was not aware of that. Straight up did not pay attention to what this thing came with. This cost me a handsome, I believe it was $175 if I remember correctly. So with shipping it was about $210, I want to say. got is this the four tool oh that's the holster okay so that's good packaged very well as I'd expect and the nice thing is is that I didn't have a box to ship out Mason's boss 4d but now I do have one that's big enough thanks to this so, whenever he's able to get that, the 4D will be going to its new home to make space for this. I'm selling a lot of vacuums right now. At some point, I'll do a video on all the vacuums I'm selling. I'm not really sure how to get this out. I might have to set this down and pull it out. And here it is. Phantom Thunder. So, this was packaged marvelously well. I cannot say enough good things about how good this was packaged. So, big shout out to that. It was even packaged better than the Lightning, which the Lightning wasn't packaged bad. The Lightning was packaged very well, but this was even better. So, can't complain about that. The layers and layers and layers of bubble wrap that were on there were just insane. This is peeling a little bit, but that's not a big deal. It doesn't bother me too much. It appears that the button... It does appear the button for the filter has been damaged. Hopefully that's not a big problem. I wonder if that's something I can easily fix. So this is, yep, carrying handle is good. This is on the later Thunders where, yeah, so I don't believe I've, I don't believe I've, no, that's a lie. So the first Thunder that I ever had was the version that came out after this. So there's many, many different revisions of the Thunder and of Phantom Vacuums in general that are not properly documented. Okay, so one little thing I discovered that's a little annoying, but I think I can fix, is this is entirely the wrong screw. Like, that's way too big. I'm really worried that that's, like, messed up this somehow. So, I'm gonna have to pull that out, which sucks, because I already have to get two, both my Destiny Plus is already missing both of these screws, so I'll have to get at least one more screw, but we'll see what the other one is. And the other one is... I can't even see the other one. Oh, so the other one's just missing. It's just not there at all. Okay, well that's great. So, instead of having to buy two of these screws for my Destiny Plus, I now have to buy four because this one also doesn't have the right screws right here. Hopefully I can find replacements that are the right size. I might just have to grab one of the screws from my other Thunder, make sure I don't lose it, and just probably take it to a store somewhere and try to find replacements that are the same thread and the same length. So yeah, there is that. So if anyone knows what type of screw these use, 
exactly, that'd be really helpful. Because it looks like this also does not have any screws to properly hold on the cover, just like my Destiny Plus, which is my other Thunder. So, and this one really worries me. I'm really not, not happy with that. Uh, so that's not good. Hopefully that's not damaged in any way. But if we look at the sticker, we can see this is model TH51. And the serial number is 107818. The serial date is the 26th week of 1998. Style GF9. Phantom Technologies, Inc. Made in Canada. Okay. So, definitely good with that. We've got dusting brush. Brand new HEPA filter installed right here. Although, unfortunately, the little switch release is broken. I tried to mess with that off camera a few times and I just couldn't quite get it because this is actually chipped off. I really hope that piece didn't fall into the motor housing because that would not be good. So we've got our cord bundled up right here with the cord itself which is kind of smart. So we've got a 30 foot cord right there. Cord looks to be in good shape so no complaints there. Lower cord hook is in good shape as well which is not the case with my daily driver fury. So we've got a crevice tool right here. So we're actually just going to go ahead. I'm just going to take all of these out of the plast out of the bubble wrap, and we'll see what we got. So right here we've got our floor nozzle, the floor nozzle adapter that lets us hold it on the machine, the crevice tool, and the main wand with the actual cord clip, something we never got on the Dysons here in the U.S. Only ever got them on the Phantoms. So we're going to go ahead and put this together. So we're going to take our handle and we're going to slide it right into the hose. Just like that, very carefully. We don't want to don't want to cause any damage to the hose. Just gently push that on there. We're going to slide the wand down into the hose. If it'll if it'll go in, which it doesn't seem to want to. There we go. And slide it in until it clicks until it clicks into place. And you push that button to release the wand. So unlike the Fury where it's actually on the wand, the button is on the machine on the Thunder. Very nice. And it actually has the port clip, which I was not expecting. So definitely a welcome surprise there. And finally. We're going to put on the attachments. So, of course, the dusting brush is already on there. We're going to take our adapter. We're going to slide it on just like that. We're going to take a crevice tool, pop it on that mount right there, and our floor nozzle, put it on that mount right there. So, that is that. Now our Phantom Thunder is completely assembled. And I have another hose extension, which is definitely not bad. And the manual, which is really cool as well. So definitely no complaints there. So with that said, let's go ahead and turn this on and see how it runs. All right. Let's see how this sounds. The thing I normally love about these thunders is they usually sound really nice. So let's see if this one is one of those examples.
bit of a funny wind down, but other than that, it sounds good. So that's a little loose. Should be okay. So that's that. It's been a while since I've actually ran one of these. I think the last time I ran this was when I ran my other one in the video. So yeah, and this one definitely sounds better and looks better. Although it is missing the, the screws for the base. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to source some screws for that. As far as the HEPA filter thing being broken, I don't really think there's much I can do about that. I don't really want to have to replace it because the actual pleats on this are in excellent condition. So no complaints there. And Boots is being a crackhead as she always is. Hi Boots. 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 Look at me. Why are you being a crackhead? Why? Why? She does not care. Anyways, so that is my unboxing, acquisition, and living room clean of the Iona Phantom Thunder. So that is that. Thank you again to Nathan for this machine. Sorry it took me so long to unbox it. My stupid seizure got in the way, but you know, whatever. So this is working just fine now. And yeah, so pretty cool. Anyways, this is Intellitech Studios signing out with just a quick unboxing and demonstration of my newest Thunder. So, this is Intellitech Studios signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one. Peace.